Drop a like on this video within five seconds or the spider's gonna crawl into your mouth while you're sleeping. I would not risk it. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug and today we got a very special build video. Now I show you guys rare builds, I show you rare overpowered builds, I show you overpowered builds, but today we have the most badges out of any build in NBA 2K20. Now this build's name you're going to be very familiar with, but it's basically the opposite of the other build that I have. This is the Slashing Playmaker, but you guys know that build names really don't mean anything in this game. Usually they're the opposite of what the build is like i have a friend who's a paint defender who's a stretch so let me show you what's so important about this as you see in the title it gets 105 badge upgrades now this is with a legend obviously but without being a legend you get 60 five badge upgrades most builds are like 40 to 50 sometimes high 50s my slashing playmaker was 62 this one has 65 upgrades y'all 65 badge upgrades the most in nba 2k20 and if you guys don't know badges mean literally everything in nba 2k20 like it means way more than attributes do so anyway like i was saying y'all it's not really a slashing playmaker but that's the name for it because you guys know my slashing playmaker has a 82 three-pointer this has a 66 but it does have a 90 driving dunk and a 91 ball handling so once you get to 99.9, .9, you'll have like a 72 plus the badges. You should be able to shoot pretty consistently. Now, this build isn't fully upgraded or it would have a lot more speed. But once you get it to like 99 or 99.9, .9, this build is basically a pure slasher that can shoot from three and be super fast. So it can shoot from three sort of consistently, depending on how you shoot. As long as you guys have hot spots and jump shot boosts, you should be able to shoot pretty consistently with this build. So at 99 or 99.9, .9, you have like a 95 driving dunk, a 71 72 three-pointer a like 96 ball handling and 80s in perimeter defense and close to 80 in lateral quickness so this is a pretty good defensive build also once you get it leveled up all right y'all that's enough talking as you can see it gets finishing badges hall of fame and playmaking badges hall of fame it's a really good build bro like obviously it's a very good build it gets 65 badge upgrades but that's it for the talking y'all i had to do a little bit more today because this build is so special i could only find two videos on youtube with this build y'all so it's extremely rare and no one took it to the park they just made it so comment down below what you think is the next build I should make and let's get into the gameplay y'all So as I was saying earlier guys, if you did not know badges are the most important thing in NBA 2k20 I'm pretty sure this year badges mean more than they have ever meant in a 2k game Because if you guys remember or if you just got the game for Christmas or something go watch People's first games when this game came out. It was horrific People had upgraded players guys they had 85 three-pointers, 93 pointers you know, they had speed boosting builds. But without the badges, there's really not much you can do. So you see our first game of the day is a two-center stretch four interior force lineup. You already know that in 2K19, they were LT cheesing and shooting over guards for days. With the post score bullying down in the paint and the stretch big sitting out there, or he was setting screens for the stretch, it does not matter. But this year, it is a little bit harder to run a two-center lineup, even though it's really not that hard to run a two-center lineup it's still basically the most efficient way to win especially on the twos court but you see me cooking right off the start full white and i missed but i got the steal right there and you already told you guys this build can play some defense it's not the greatest defensive build because it doesn't get a lot of defensive badges at legend it, you know it gets 11 so it's good it's fine but you guys see me driving down 81 overall grabbing the contact dunk so this build like guys like i was telling you is not just a 65 badge build it's very special gets hall of fame finishing badges and hall of fame playmaking so you're gonna have a very high speed with the hall of fame playmaking badges so you're gonna be super fast and then you're gonna have a 94 95 driving dunk somewhere in there with 94 95 driving layup and the hall of fame finishing badges to tag along with that as you see me getting off the decks right there slippery off ball i told you guys to do that man i told you i've been telling you slippery off ball will get you two or three buckets a game i don't have it on but you can still do it without it but obviously with it you know you're gonna be more efficient so you see me cooking up pulling up green bro green 60 what was it 66 three-pointer man so anyway like i was saying y'all you've seen the stats at the beginning but say you were to grind out this building you get it to 99 or 99.9 .9, you're gonna have like a 72 three-pointer with a good amount of shooting badges as you see me green in that right there you do not need a high three-pointer at all imagine this build with more shooting badges and at 99 i'd be wetting all day but anyway you do not need a high three-point attribute so imagine 
94, 95 driving dunk. You're literally a pure slashing build with like almost 99 speed and Hall of Fame playmaking badges. On top of that, at the end of the day, you still have the ball handling at like 90, 91, something like that at 99. Bro, this build is a demi god. It's literally like the BP build, except for less shooting, which you don't need, and more on the dunking. So it's literally pretty much better than the BP build or right there. It just depends on your play style, but this build is literally a pure slasher that can spray from the three point range, bro. It's crazy. Like I know I've been kind of repeating myself, but I'm trying to like literally, like I'm not trying to sell you on it because I'm showing you that it can work. I'm on an 81 overall with only 10 badges in each category. And I'm not trying to sell you on it, but it's just that good. Like I'm trying to explain it to y'all that this build has not been talked about at all this entire year. No one knows. I didn't even know you could get a build as you see me cracking his ankles right there. I had no clue that you could get a build with 65 badge upgrades. I was pretty sure my slashing playmaker with 62 had the most. And you guys see right there, I'm pulling up and even a white goes in. You do not need to have a high shooting rating. So I cut out all the defense because I know you guys don't want to see that. You want to see the slashing playmaker go crazy. You're not trying to see them freaking setting screens and a post score sitting there just drop stepping people all day, right? I know you guys don't want to see that except for like the 10 post scores that are watching this video. So you see him pulling up right there. And luckily, 2K gave him a full white because this man was green and everything, y'all. But anyway, you see me hitting him with the sham god right there. And then I pull up and that's game. Another green, bro. I told you guys, I'm going to keep saying it like a broken record. You do not need a high shooting rating to efficiently shoot in this game. But I would love to see this build at 99 or 99.9. .9. If anyone makes this build and gets it to 99 or grinds it close to that, man, please hit me up. I would love to use this build at 99. And anyway, if you guys want to see, as you see me on the 1v1 court right here, if you guys want to see me get this build to 99, because I've got lots of other things to do. You guys know I'm always showing you different builds and stuff. Get this video to 15,000 likes. Share it with your friends, like it on your grandma's phone, do all that stuff. I know this video is most likely going to do really good because I had no clue. And I'm literally a YouTuber. No one talks about it, bro. This build has just been kept secret and no one has really talked about it this entire year, bro. It gets double Hall of Fame badges with 65. It gets two categories in Hall of Fame and 65 upgrades, bro. Literally, this build is insane, guys. I, I don't say that a lot. You know, when I use trash builds, like the Prospect, my 6.5 post score, my Midgets, I'm not sitting here trying to say, oh, it's the greatest build ever. No, y'all, this build is a killer, dude. Like I'm talking about this build at 99.9, .9, your friends are going to be like, bro, what did you make? How is that even possible, right? So you see me pulling up once again, a white, and I missed that one right there. So it's going to happen. 2K, even 99s, you know, even freaking pure sharpshooters, they miss whites, right? So that's my fault. I'm not timing the shot correctly, and then I shoot another white, and it goes in. So y'all see that even though I'm shooting whites, it goes in, but I need to get better. I need to time my shot more correctly. So I'm driving down. I'm trying to get my rating up. I'm trying to get into the basket first, guys. When you're playing on this build, especially before you get it to at least like 96, 97, and then three-pointer starts going up and getting hot spots and stuff, you want to try and get to the basket first. That's what the build really excels in, right? It's got like a 95 driving dunk. So that's what you want to do is get to the basket and score so that you can get the ratings up. But once you get it to like 99, you should be pulling from three all day. But obviously in these gameplays with the 81 overall, I'm trying to get to the basket first so that I can get my rating up so that I can really shoot efficiently. Even though you don't need to have a high rating, it's still nice to try to get to the basket to try and get it to go up. But you see, he's not guarding me and I'm pulling up, bro. That's what, four, four, four for five right now? Four for five, y'all. But anyway, at the end of this video, if you want to know how to make this build, it's going to be on my boy Uncle Demi's channel. I told you guys we're doing a few collabs with the builds this week, man. He's going to be showing you guys exactly how to create it, okay? And at the end of this video, because it's about to end, I'm going to show you some extras of me breaking people's ankles and stuff, bro. I don't know what to say, bro. I know that this video, I have like been sounding crazy, and I'm sorry, guys, but I really do love this build like it's insane to me it absolutely blows my mind everything that it can do especially with the double hall of fame badges in two categories anyway y'all hit that subscribe button if you're new drop a like on the video it's your boy bash plug you've been plugged in and i'm out peace